Um, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get the first game started. Best of luck to both teams. Once again, we have the Widows versus the Revolution. Um, best of luck. Uh, like I said, if T-Man goes off as much as he's done so far, this is going to be a crazy series. Um, but once again, Tropical and Doomsucker have been playing together for a while. So they already had that long built chemistry that I'd love to see some crazy as crazy plays be played uh, for the widows. Not only that, but so far, the lower team ranking wise so far on our stream tonight has been the one that has triumphed, triumphed more. So I, I feel like that got to go with the got to go with the stats on it. And I feel like, honestly, the stats go awkwardly more so towards widows because of my thinking. <laughs> I mean, hey, you, you might be right. It's, uh, stats don't lie. I mean, people like to say that all oh, stats don't matter, but I mean, they show exactly how you do and how you play. You look at the stats, right? And, uh, and it'll be good to see how each team handles the other, uh, especially with the play styles. I mean, you have Team Man as number one, so I, I don't know if that's going to make any difference about the, the mentality of the gameplay for the other team, but. Uh, it's going to be interesting, interesting for sure. Yep, and uh, speaking of which, I believe it was uh, KH came very close to uh, came very close to being able to capitalize on that goal, but the defense of the Widows is just tri a triumphant right now. Um, putting up two saves so far on the three shots on the goal. I got to say, um, I like the, the Widows' goal. Uh, they totally doesn't matter for the match at all. Double touch opportunity. Tropical denies him from the back wall. Stops that goal opportunity. Doomsucker gets it, but has no boost, so he couldn't continue with it. Had to turn for that mid boost. Tropical passes it back, but T Man sends it, and Doomsucker had to play a, a long retreat on that ball. Good center, but Tropical ends up getting a clear revolution. Uh, definitely trying to keep that pressure up, and. The widows, I feel like, are not being able to have any offensive opportunity because of stuff like that. T Man coming in and claiming that first goal of the series. It's about time one team scored. There was some serious defense going on on both sides. Neither one wanted to give up that first goal. That's uh, it's always the tough one to score. It's, you know, it's zero zero. The series is fresh. You don't want to be starting off the bottom. Yeah, I mean, with, with something like this right now, you have something where you have the Widows who didn't even have a shot on goal and literally, as I say, don't have a shot on goal. They take their first shot on goal and they are 100%. Hey, they're... On a kickoff, beautiful play. 100%. Played over to the corner. Right now. It's, a, it's not a bad little ratio. I mean, granted, before they couldn't even put a shot on goal, but when they do, they're scoring it, so something's working there. I mean, in all reality, the defense has held solid so far for the Widows, which is fantastic. That's what you always want to see. But at the same time, the Revolution have created a lot of pressure. And like you said, it turns into a goal. It turned into a goal last time. But at the same time, also, you happen to mess up one time on that pressure, a blown coverage or blown, uh, blown touch or blown positioning ends up turning into an, a complete and total opposite end. Um, like this exact situation right here. Uh, luckily, Doomsucker was able to come in tropical, try to force them up high. Doomsucker keeping the pressure, couldn't get the wave dash landed, but it doesn't matter because tropical comes out of nowhere and ends up getting the goal right past the Revolution defense. One thing I do got to say about these teams is you can definitely tell the pace is a lot faster with these teams than the first series of the day. I mean, you can tell why these teams are in the top of the league. I mean, it's, you don't get there for no reason. I mean, you play fast, you play hard, you play smart, and it shows every time. I mean, these are what interesting games are made of. You got smart players, you got good players, and you got a good series is what I'm looking at. Right, and I mean, it. it's not even that they're not able to boost manage. Like, I, what I've seen is the... Widows haven't had much boost because the Revolution have kept the Widows on their heels the whole time on defense. And yet, the Widows are still on top, and as I said, 
<laughs> as I say that yet again, Revolution, KH pulls out a perfect dribble to end up getting it around, tucks it into the corner. Beautiful play by the offense and Revolution to tie it back up. Minute 20 left. Well, I think if there's anything to take away, it's that if you say something, the opposite's going to happen immediately as you say it. <laughs> But you know what? One thing that hasn't changed yet is the fact that right now, the Widows have 60%. Like 60%. They have five shots on goal, three goals. A minute 20. That was a good kickoff goal. Good pressure. Um, and Widows taking the lead yet again. They definitely don't want to give it up. And they don't give it up any time soon. This T-man cannot get back fast enough. He got a little doink, but I think he wanted to wanted to send it up off off backboard and just couldn't end up getting it. Doomsucker sent it fast enough, and just like that, two goal lead with a minute sixteen left. Little flip reset. Kh couldn't capitalize on it. Almost got there for it. Widows haven't dropped the lead in this game. They've, they've tied for uh, Revolution, but Widows are keeping that pressure on. They're not letting T-Man just run away with the ball at all. I mean, he's got a couple good plays with him, but there's no just flat-out open plays to be made. Widows are just keeping that pressure the whole game. 100%, and that's... And it's funny because it literally started off the opposite way. Like, it's not even the Widows are keeping much pressure. It's they're capitalizing on the pressure. And speaking of capitalizing on pressure, and the getting around. <laughs> Dude, every time I'm saying something, it's turning out to be there. I think he expected, I think uh, Tropical expected the doink, and T-Man actually just wanted to get underneath it. And a good play by T-Man to end up snaking it in as Doomsucker tried to... Uh, Try to come in for the pinch. Coming up for the first good, decent aerial attempt that I saw from anyone on the Widows yet. Double demo coming out. Trying to create that uh, that little bit of a uh, time and space that the Widows need to save this game. Make sure it stays solid. Good, clear pinch by Tropical. But the Revolution have possession of it. Can they keep it going? A good flick. Up to Tropical. Tropical ends up getting the touch. Will the Widows actually be able to get it back? Or will they keep it alive? Revolution keeps it up. Tropical tosses it off the backboard. Tries to get Doomsucker. Doomsucker tosses it up yet again. Tropical is up trying to get it off crossbar. He could not. And could not get the zero second goal to add to that goal. It's okay because it still came out with the win. Four to three. Got a little too antsy with that last hop up right there. I think the, that goal was possible. But, I mean, in the end, they come away with the win. That's all that matters. Um, I don't you know, oh, good. it's crazy to see you have seven saves and seven shots on goal by the Widow. <laughs> you don't normally see as many saves as shots on goal. But right there is it, just insane. Like it, to be able to see that, that just means that, I mean, they were they capitalized on every bit of it. Seven shots on goal, four goals. Revolution only had two saves on those seven shots. So that's just as efficient as it gets for the widows. You can't ask for anything more than just over a 50% shot percentage. I mean, I'm thinking these skill ratings say a lot about how these teams are playing. I mean, the widows might not have run away with it, but stat wise, they were a dominant force. I mean, they had skill rating of just about twice as much for their top player as the top player for the revolution. And there are assists, three assists for the Widows, and I don't think any for the Revolution. Dude, by the way, Krippus coming out prime, gifting 18 tier ones. Woo, man's got money Ooh. bags. Ooh. And, dude, Krippus coming out literally clutch as a Dutch. Dude, that is, that is as prime as it gets. Um, Plus <laughs> Penguin, congratulations. Welcome to uh welcome to Twitch. Yes, you can gift subs. That is something that happens. And Doomsucker pulled out the fake on the kickoff. What a play, Doomsucker. I think he just like faked like crazy on that, taking it nice and slow. Just comes down, gets the catch, plops it down. Beautiful play. 
What a start for the Widows in game two. The uh, Widows are making sure that the Revolution know who's uh, another goal by the Widows. They're, they're just running away with that early lead. I mean, they're not giving the Revolution any time to get comfortable. Um, that's, that's really going to work out well for them because they do have the underdog status in this match, even though not by much, but it's definitely something that they want to squash immediately. A hundred percent. And I mean, dude, they had all the pressure last game. And it's funny because like we talked about shot percentage, one shot on goal, one goal for each player on the on the widows and as that happens one shot on goal and one goal for the revolution i mean i guess you could just say it just came as a spidey sense you know like <laughs> oh my god f and chat <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, we need a new cast i'm sorry i quit yeah. <laughs> I mean, but do you though? Because then that happens, and that first sh that first hit off backboard did not count as a shot on goal. So it's still a hundred percent shot on goal right now in game. Oh, wow. <laughs> Four goals scored, thirty-one seconds into game. Three of them towards the widows. They kind of cheese the system with that one, just outside of the range where that would have been a shot on goal. <clears throat> I'll give it to him. Hey. Though. Keeping it one hundred. Keeping it a hundred. Um, but what a sh attempt by the Revolution. Smart play. Trying to get a little flick. Doesn't get as much of a flick as I think he wanted, but still got it around one of them. Cage tosses it up. T-Man barrel rolls, unfortunately, and gets bumped by his teammate. A breakaway by the Widows. I think it. Tropical and Doomsucker team up against the defense of Revolution and make sure that T-Man is not even coming close to getting that ball at all. Man. One got over him, the other one just took him out completely. I mean, no mercy at all. And what's even funnier is the fact that there's four shots on goal, but Tropical has three goals, which he has the hat trick, but only two shots on goal. Wow. Because Fuck. I think he stole that from Doomsucker. And speaking of which, Doomsucker coming out with yet another goal. Six goals scored within just over a minute. That is insane. That does not happen often. Never mind on a stream game. I think uh, I think everyone knows who's gonna take that first spot out of this game. If they, especially if they win all of their matches, I mean, the winners are gonna be a force to be reckoned with. So. Tropical comes in for the uh, the the bump on uh, Team Man. Doomsucker goes up for the double touch. It's a lobster right in front of goal. Kh comes down, couldn't get it, and actually I think it was Tropical got the pool shot on it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Tropical got the pool shot on it because Doomsucker went up. Cage comes down, Tropical came in, and Doomsucker claims the goal, but Tropical ends up getting the the pool shot on that. What a play by the Widows. We might see a Brazil come out within less than two minutes of a game. <laughs> and as I say that, almost Caster Curse stops it. <laughs> I'd like to see a Brazil here, honestly. I haven't seen one on the screen yet. Uh, a little... Uh viewer fanboy wants to see uh, uh, Brazil from someone. Oh, and they, they had to ruin hey, now, now we can't. See, we talk about it, and that's what happened. We talk about it, and that is what happened. I, I Good play by Revolution offense right there. Doomsucker was stuck by himself. I think minimal boost as well. T-Man came in for the dead 50, and KH cleaned it up. Good play by Revolution, and we need to see a lot more of that for Revolution to come back easy from this game. I think I'm we need to see them get that pressure. You're good. I think I'm just going to start saying the opposite of what we want to see happen. Then, <laughs> then it's good. Look at that. They've scored twice now. I said I wanted to see a Brazil. No, I cannot. No, we're, we're just going to keep scoring. I'm going to make sure that hey. literally cannot happen. That's that's a good thing to see, though. I mean, to be able to see a team go like this. Um, they haven't given up. Uh, it's very important. I mean, a lot of people I mean, are coming down. Three and a half minutes left. For someone to give up at three and a half minutes left, in my opinion, is just that I feel like that's almost as toxic as it can be. Yeah, yeah. honestly, you um, see that a lot in ranked. And it's like, you guys realize this is Rocky League. Like, five minutes is a long time to play. And a lot can happen even within a minute, especially in twos. Never exactly. 
and no matter what rank it is, I mean, it's funny because I've even seen pros like end up forfeiting with like 40 seconds left when they're down one goal. I'm like, why? Like, maybe just because they don't care or whatever. But at the same time, like, you never know what can happen. And a full drag across, tuck it into the corner. Great play by KH all the way across the field. I was getting chased down by Tropical, and he saw Doomsucker go for that mid boost. So he knew he had to tuck it all the way right, and man, did he tuck it lower 90. Beautiful play by Revolution, trying to bring this back within arm's reach. And right now, two goals, two and a half minutes left is definitely arm's reach. I like what I'm seeing. I mean, they were down. They made a comeback. And now it's a very reasonable comeback. There's still two minutes left. There's been 10 goals scored in not even three minutes. That's It's literally absurd. I mean, it's not because there's no defense being played. It's that the offensive plays by these teams are just so well done that there's really not much defense to be done. And like that, like, that's not even a blown defense. So much to say as, I mean, honestly, a lucky bounce from corner. <laughs> just as much as being able to have Tropical be there fast enough to beat out both of the defenders of Revolution, which were right there. And Tropical just sent it fast enough to make it be nice and easy. I mean, that corner play is, is always a kryptonite for any good player. I mean, it, it's almost impossible to read unless you just hit the ball into the corner a million times because I mean, you never know where it's going to go. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's weird, though, because when you get to this level, a lot of people actually target that and actually aim for that and hope they can get it. And it... It actually worked out very beneficial for the Widows. Give that first goal back since. And I think T-Man was low on boost and couldn't get back fast enough. That's good game sense by the Widows. He saw that they were going for boost, probably didn't get any, thought he could sneak it in, and it paid off. I mean, don't not try. Like, you saw he's empty. He's in corner. Just take a shot. You might get it. it pays off. T-Man comes in with trying to get the, the extra touch on the bounce. Couldn't capitalize on it because the Widow's defense is just destroying the revolution right now. And, dude, I might as well just be quiet because every time I say something, the opposite happens. <laughs> or as I'm talking about it, I say the Widow's defense is destroying the revolution. Revolution score. What's going on? Great play by revolution, 100%. I'm not saying that it was a bad play at all. But, by the way, I do want to point this out. Right now, Widows have eight total goals. Eight total goals, and seven of them are assists. Revolution have six total goals with only one assist. Look, because you have KH doing stuff like this, I mean, this man doesn't even need a teammate. Put him a 1v2. I'm not saying anything bad about his teammate, but, I mean, he's making so well plays, making more good. And it's kind of funny because T-Man was ranked number one in Gamma League coming into this game. So, always great to see, but Doomstalker gets it around the defense once again of Revolution off of the kickoff, making sure that they're keeping this three-goal lead. They have not <laughs> lost this three-goal lead for anything more than like 10 seconds. I <laughs> Man, they're just not letting you get a break. They score, they're like, yes, we can make a comeback. And then the Widow's like, nah, I don't think so. Score no Speaking mercy. of which, oh, close double touch is <laughs> set up. I'm sorry. Um, but hey, I mean, Revolution need to get their pressure. 40 seconds left. Tropical gets an extra touch on it. Creates awkward positioning for the Revolution defense. KH turns around fast enough, trying to create the offensive pressure as a 2v1. A snipe in the corner. Yes, a snipe. S N I P E of the upper 90. So go ahead and hate on whatever you want, Redwater. I said snipe that. Couldn't have placed it any higher, more perfect over the defense of the Widows. 30 seconds left, more than enough time to score two goals. Nine to seven, man. There's, there's just so many goals. Ten to seven. <laughs> there's just we so can't many even goals. say the score fast enough and let it complete our statement before it changes. That's how much is going on in this game. 17 goals. And people, you are a witness to probably 
honestly, Delta League stream history because I don't think there has been <laughs> there probably has not been a team or any sort of game on stream that might have been this oh many my goals. God, dude. <laughs> it doesn't end. There's no mercy from either side. And once again, by the way, this is not bad defense by either team. This is just phenomenal offense. Phenomenal. Like there hasn't been like a mess up or like anything like that. It's just great recoveries and great plays overall in game sense. Like you can't ask for anything more from either one of these teams or their GMs or anything. You cannot. Like it, it's a phenomenal game played overall. 18 goals scored. Hopefully, maybe we can get one more. Why not, right? Like, toss another one. 18. I don't think <laughs> I've seen a game get that many goals in a long time. Like, from anywhere. This, that's so many goals. That game lasted, like, 15 minutes just from goals. Once again, that was, like, it, it just, it started off, by the way, Widows going up big on revolution big on revolution like it we talked about trying to get a brazil this game so they were up 6-1 and revolution pulled it within two at that high scoring of a game widows had 14 shots on goal and 10 goals and out of those 10 goals eight of them were assisted and out of those eight goals that revolution scored two of them were assisted but the way kh was playing he didn't need no assist <laughs> Yeah, 20, as Crip has said, 29 total shots and seven saves. <laughs> like, that is just probably the biggest and most insane stat line you can ever ask for in any sort of game whatsoever. Oh, I mean, that's that's what you hope for, to be honest, overall. But, like, that's, that's just insane. But the Widows go up 2-0 on the series. To be able to see that... And that second game is insane. I honestly hope we see another one. Uh, someone's internet died. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to do some blocking. It's gonna be. One. I hate to see it. That's that's literally my. Oh. I'm going to create a new lobby for these guys so that they don't have to keep changing because I don't think he's going to join back fast enough. But this is insane. Like, to be able to have 29 total shots on goal, 18 goals, and 7 saves. I mean, that's, that's literally great. like. That's that's what you that's honestly what you hope for in all reality of everything. Like you, you don't want anything, let you don't expect any or you don't want anything less from. It. Like uh, you you'd hope as a GM to know that's going to be something different. You know, like you want it to be something big. I mean, it's great and for their stats. Really I'm sorry. I mean, it's great for their stats. I mean, they're going to be oh, by far. top of the leaderboard just because of the sheer amount of stats that were in that game alone. I mean, that game has the amount of goals and saves and assists and whatnot as some series that are low scoring. I mean, that was just a very eventful game in general. A hundred percent. Um. Let me go ahead and give me one second because I'm going to try to message these guys to make sure that they know to be able to join. Is the lobby up? Yes, it is. All right. <laughs> Redwater, what is that? Uh, Los Penguin said, no, main A's is not an instrument. And Redwater said, it is if you try hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, oh, Redwater, you're, you're not you're not wrong. He says he likes to use main A's as a, as a bongo. You know, you ain't wrong. <laughs> I think everybody's done it at some point. Those big main A's containers, you, you have no choice but almost have to. 
but I see, uh, actually, it looks like Motions might have stepped in um, as the backup. Um, so it's now going to be Motions and, uh, and T-Man versus Doomsucker and Tropical. So Motions is actually, if I remember correctly, the new GM for for Revolution as well. So this is going to be interesting that they just had a very high-scoring game. KH did phenomenal. Luckily, he didn't end up having his internet crash until after the game, which is great. But, I mean, hopefully the Revolution can keep that momentum and maybe push towards actually getting a win. But right now, the Widows are definitely showing off their, their true colors right now. And that those true colors definitely are the... Uh, the black and red lockdown colors. I'm, uh, I'm excited to see how, how everyone responds to this game, whether it's going to be another high score or whether the teams just focus on making sure their defense is more on cap. There's really not much, like we said last game, they, they can do more on defense. It's just they got to find a way to stop these plays before they happen or else they're just going to keep scoring. Right. And I mean, you you just it, those offensive opportunities, as I keep saying, like all those pass plays and everything. Like I said, eight of the goals that were scored by Widows out of the 10 were assisted. Like, that's amazing to see. And that just shows that that just created more opportunities and everything um, for those options and those goals to be scored. And that means that it's not really a collapse on the defense or lack of defense. It's just a great offense. And I mean, Beautiful shot by Tropical. Doomsucker creating the pressure at the goal line. Bumping out T-Man. Sends him off to the side and Tropical gets a perfect tuck to top shelf. End up getting the... Well, Widow's making sure that they stay on top yet again. This is the third game in a row where they've been the first to score. Let's see if they can keep that up for the rest of the series. They're going... What, like two and three quarters matches left, uh, or games, should I say? And One and three quarters. What? Math is hard, <laughs> but <laughs> they're uh, they're they're leading the whole time so far, and it's it's definitely worth noting that they were the underdog in the series, and they're making sure that no one thinks that Linux time. Yeah, I mean, with, with this, it's just, it, it. like I said, the first game, Revolution kept so much pressure up on the Widow all the time. And they just went so hard on just nonstop pressure on the goals. And suddenly the Widows just capitalized on every opening that the Revolution created on that de on their, on their uh, defensive turn. So... I want to see a lot more pressure coming from Revolution. I'm seeing bumps and demos coming out from Widows left and right. And speaking of which, uh, Trop ends up going for the bump right there to create a defensive uh, mishap for the Revolution. And I'm not seeing much of that for the Revolution itself. So I feel like the Revolution need to start doing that a little bit more to try to create those opportunities. And a double-touch opportunity, Motions just unfortunately could not capitalize. In every sense of the word, um, whether or not it's just being in possession of the ball or being aggressive on the other players, don't give them a chance to score, you're not going to be able to score. Right? right. You're, you're not going to get three goals out of these two teams. I mean, they're. Except they're that happened. <laughs> of course, as they say something. I mean, that wasn't Good really luck. a free goal necessarily, but you're not going to see what happened. Uh, last series with the team scoring from all the way across the map. These guys are, I'm not going to say that they're they are better players or anything like that. Like, yes, they're a higher league. Of course, it's competitive, but <laughs> they're just not going to give the other team that opportunity to make them look silly at this league, honestly. Right. No, understood. And um, with that being said, I mean, perfect bump by Team Man. And then a demo comes out from Motions to try to create that little bit of offensive presence the Revolution have been 
missing so far this game for the most part. And I, I'm seeing a little bit more of that pressure. Left them space, tropical, given all the space in the world. And it ended up crossbarring down, but didn't go in. And Tropical even tried to get an extra touch, but couldn't. T-Man's playing it from the wall with zero boost, trying to get it somewhere. And Doomsucker's up for it already. Motions just took that corner. So still, T-Man is very low on boost. Trying to play at the goal. And he finally ended up getting that corner boost to try to give, hopefully, a revolution, a good defensive presence that it seemed like the Widows definitely wanted to capitalize on them not having for a second. Honestly, with how much pressure the Widows are, are putting on, I wouldn't be surprised if you saw a goal for you know, I'm going <laughs> to stop saying what I'm going to say. It's gonna, it's no, go ahead and say it. Then, I, then I'd, like to see, I'd like to see exactly what you're saying. i like to see whenever it happens, as we're talking about it. That means we're good casters. Because if we're talking about it, that means that it's it's something that was happening happening or existing. Doomsucker, no boost, couldn't end up capitalizing on the only open net that really either team that I've seen so far this game has presented. <laughs> I like how last game there were 18 goals between the teams. In this game, there are two. Just two. I mean, now, I'm not saying it is motions, but he is new to the game, so... <laughs> I mean, it's not You're... even that necessarily it's worse or anything. Like, he's he's just locking down the gaps in defense. I mean, maybe he's just better in defense, not as good in offense. And it just works out better for both teams. Big pinch came out from Tropical. Looked like it was everybody was trying to figure out who was going to go for the ball, so nobody pushed on it for a split second. Double commit over in the corner by Revolution. Doomsuckers all the way back in his goal with no boost, just grabbed the corner. Tropical trying to go for a play by himself. T-Man gets a hard clear. Now, once again, a 2v1 opportunity, but Doomsucker sends it all the way back for yet another 2v1 opportunity. Trying to get something created. T-Man out of boost. Motions takes it. See if Revolution can get their first win in an overtime win, or if the Widows are going to try to be up 3-0 in the series so far. how they've been playing at all. They're, they're making sure that Revolution knows, like, hey, we're not going to let you have a free goal. You're going to have to work for it. If the Revolution manages to pull out a win here, I mean, I think that just is going to make the Widows play that much harder for the next match. Oh, close one. Good pass opportunity there. Just unfortunate that it ended up going a little wide, but it was great defense by the Widows to have to force it to the awkward angle. A bump coming out from Revolution, trying to grab the mid boost. A pass down to the Widows. Almost a self save, but Doomsucker still tucks it in just enough and ends up getting a great play in front of goal. And just like that, Re uh, Revolution ends up unfortunately not being there for that. And Widows claim the goal to claim game three win. Like I said, I don't think widows are, are willing to submit a goal or even one game to the Revolution. Even though Revolution is a great team, both teams are great. Neither just want to submit at all. And widows are making sure that they don't even give up a game. Yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, it's not anything against Revolution or Team Man or anything like that. But I know that Tropical and Doomsucker have had chemistry for a while because I played with Tropical and Doomsucker before, and they already knew their gameplay already, like going into this league. And them jumping up and being on the same team in Gamma League is definitely going to help them out. And you could see that even if there were to be like a little miscommunication here and there, unfortunate that literally with motions coming in, it might be even his first game on or something that he might have not been warmed up and he probably probably didn't even play any games with T-Man yet, which caused the awkward, awkward uh, bump that happened at that boot side boost, probably not turning off that ball cam for that split second to see the teammate got that bump that created that goal to be scored. Well, I think we're, uh, we're going to see a widow's dominated series here. I mean, it's up to Revolution to try harder this match. I mean, a 
it's not that they weren't trying, but obviously they're not trying hard enough. I mean, they're playing a team, like you said, with chemistry. It's not going to be easy. In the Revolution, the first goal, though, for the first time in the series, it's, uh, they're not going to make it easy, but they're definitely not going down without a fight. Right. I mean, with this, like, it's it's a crazy series to be able to see. Phenomenal gameplay overall. Like, it, it really hasn't been too negative to one side. Um, it hasn't been like, oh, well, you, you made a mistake. You made a mistake. This is why kind of thing. What a fake play. And Tropical gets stopped. T-Man <laughs> pulls out. The, he ends up hitting the brakes perfectly, stops Doomsucker, gets the pinch with him, and then gets a mini rule one. That Tropical just tried to get over before he got locked with it. And <laughs> Revolution claims that second goal. It just, just stops. Like, <laughs> you can't pass. So just going to stay here until it goes oh, I mean, Whatever works. If it works, do it. That was, uh, I think that was the funniest goal in the series we've seen. For sure. Oh, yeah. And Tropical gets the first goal of game four. A little awkward positioning. Oh, I didn't even see that pinch. I'm sorry. Um, great play by by the offense of the Widow to create that. And Tropical with the awareness to know that was going to be coming across. Actually, I think he went for the demo bump on goalie that was coming across. And he just just like, oh, look, a ball. <laughs> and it happened to work out because it was a good pinch from Doomsucker over. Oh, look at that. Right as I'm saying, I'm expecting another goal from the Widows. And they scored. It's perfect. I mean, they may have let Revolution walk away with a couple goals first, but they're making sure that they're not out of this match yet. I mean, both teams are neck and neck in this last game. Both won, it seems, equally. But it's anyone's game. Four minutes left, four goals. I can't do another 18-goal game, man. Those last so long. Please, for my sanity. <laughs> but I mean, come on. It was so interesting to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, definitely good goals scored. Oh, man. I, I See, it's these teams care. <laughs> <laughs> nothing bad. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing bad. Once again, it's just it, it's just a great play overall. Like, once again, it, it's not like it's just lack of defense. It's just great offense. But yeah, and like, how do you say it just, it, it's a hard to know that the, the positioning was even going to come close to you, you know? Um, but yeah. 100%. And Revolution definitely trying their absolute best to make sure that they get at least one game in this series because they started off 7-1, and one, now being 7-4. and four, They need to get that one um, and try to end up hurting the Widows a little bit on that just as much as try to help them out. Great uh, defensive play, turnaround, coming around from Tropical. Trying to create something. Doomsucker slows it down, and T-Man comes in with the squishy save. Ends up being just enough. Oh, but man. Tropical tops it in off the post and ends up getting it so, so, so much of a slow roller, nine miles an hour. Oh. Technically, it went in upper 90. <laughs> He's not, it's an upper 90 shot by <laughs> dropping. I mean, honestly, hitting that angle at all is pretty nice. I mean, it's nothing easy to do at all. I mean, uh, people watching, especially if you don't play Rocket League like as competitively, you may not realize that angle is such a small area to score from. I mean, it's, it's not easy by any means. And speaking of upper 90, <laughs> and actually, he got it again. <laughs> Widows take Tuck. the lead again. I mean, that's the first lead of this game for the Widows. You right? Because they, they, the because the Revolution started off with the first goal first this goals. game, and they, yeah, they got the first two goals, and this is the first time the Widows are claiming the lead this game. So, I mean, that that's how fast tides can turn in in league games like this, and I mean. Six shots on goal for the Widows, four goals, and four shots on goal by the Revolution, and three goals. So, I mean, 
It's it's a very evenly played game. Oh, unfortunate. <laughs> Team man, I don't think he even came close to being ready for that mid and actually it was a failed defense uh, defensive blow and coverage for a second by the widows and that split second ended up being crucial and it looks like Doomsucker is just Boy. harassing <laughs> bullying and harassing the defense of revolution to try to make sure that there's no opportunity to be made for them to come back and try to get some sort of offensive opportunity for them. Yeah, uh, widows gotta be careful about getting a revolution room there I mean oh man they might have just messed up there was good recovery by Tropical, but they, they got to be careful about giving Revolution room like that. I mean, they do have the top player in the league, well, as of the beginning of the series. Um, I mean, the, you can't give him room like that. He's going to make you regret it every time. Uh-oh. That may be awkward. Sent a little hard. Oh, good thing Emotion's got an extra touch. T-Man puts it on target. Ends up being a little slower. Uh, Doomsucker gets the send over but ends up trying to get it over the second one but couldn't. Motions ends up going for the shot and Tropical went for the demo and got messed up on that demo. As you'll see in the replay, he came very close. He ended up getting the demo but got turned. If he didn't get turned, he might have been there for that save. But that was a great play by the Revolution to tie it up with just over a minute left. I mean, it might go into overtime. I mean, they're they're going to give us the match that we wanted for this game four. We want to see them go head to head, best versus best. Grand would have. It's it's quality gameplay. We all love to see it. Of Speaking of quality gameplay, a good dri a dribble, uh, dribble mini flick by Doomsucker, coming around, just getting enough to be able to uh, get it around T Man. Who went over for the corner boost, thinking the ball was going to be over there, and all of a sudden, Noomsucker came out of nowhere and brought it back the opposite way. <laughs> that was uh, very well executed. I mean, putting it in exactly where he needed to, controlling it the whole play. He put it in almost. Team Revolution on a breakaway now. See if they can capitalize on this. Almost got demoed. Team Man gets the fake on him, tries to keep it in their zone. 30 seconds left. Revolution need need this goal to just tie it up never mind actually going going and claim the w for one go one game of the series well, good save from widows keeping it out of their net with 12 seconds left oh they're gonna punish them for it man you hate to see revolution get their dreams crushed in the last second like that It was, it was a good series. It, it really was a great gameplay from both teams, but the Widows just would not win. Yeah, I mean, with this, it's just great gameplay by both teams overall. But, I mean, in all reality, the, the Widows just end up outplaying the Revolution just enough to end up claiming the win. And what a great series overall um, by both teams. I mean, Widows pulling out the 4-0 sweep of the Revolution, which is great. Um, but, I mean, you couldn't have asked for much more from, honestly, both teams. Revolution kept a lot of pressure. Maybe they just gave away the ball a little too much. But I don't think they really could have done much more because the Widows were just clicking on all cylinders. Doomsucker came out with a double savior and a hat trick, and Tropical came out with a hat trick. Actually, Doomsucker got... He got a hat trick, he got a playmaker, and he got a double savior that game. He got 1,141 points. That's insane. He had an SR of a 10.52. That That's just, insane. That was just very well done by all the players in the match. I mean, it was great.